Hey everybody, it's Easy. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. If you've been here before, this video is uh, Pharaoh's Phantom. It's a clan that I'm in with one of my mini accounts, Too Easy. And as you can tell by the title, these guys just rock it at war. So they have a, a fairly small war going on. And they have uh, in their lineup, they have a Town Hall 11s, a couple Town Hall 10s, a bunch of Town Hall 9s. I think it's a 25 on 25. So not a real big war. Uh, not a 10 on 10 either. Uh, but that's what they've done a lot of. They have a lot of these uh, medium sized wars. Um, this this attack right here is for DC Joker. Now he, these guys have very similar ways that they handle the clan cla castle troops. Which means that this, there's someone teaching them how, uh, how to do this. Uh, they, they almost all pull the clan castle troops out. They almost always pull them into a corner. They put the poison on them and they use smaller troops. Um, uh, they use these smaller troops to kill the clan castle troops. Uh, it, it can be done a bunch of different ways, but I've seen them kill these dragons with a bunch of archers or minions several times now. Okay, so this, this attack is a La Luna attack. It's, ma it's mainly an, an air attack, but he does have some clan castle giants that he put in. It's a Town Hall 11 attack, so he's got so uh, he's got got the warden, got the king and the queen. He hold, held off on the warden. He puts the warden in behind the balloons. He sent the king and the queen in on the right side with the jump spell, hoping to get that right, the top right and bottom right air defense. But at this point right now, they ha he hadn't got to either one with the king or the queen. The king has died short of the air defense. So I mean, he, he was probably a little worried at this point. Even though it is a Town Hall 10 uh, attack, you know, he's a Town Hall 11 or a Town Hall 10, but still anything can happen. Um, anyway, he gets through the first three air defenses pretty easily. He's got balloons on his way to the last air defense. He manages to take out the last air defense with the balloons. Uh, some air traps kind of pesky for these balloons. Um, now, if you, this is something that I know that I've been running into as a Town Hall 10 myself. If you're a Town Hall 10 and you're at the very top of your clan's list and you have to deal with these Town Hall 11s dropping down a 3 star on you, I would suggest watching every replay in your base and it's setting up your base in a way that it forces them to spread out as much as possible. Because what, what happens is, especially with these Town Hall 11 drop down to Town Hall 10s, is they will put like this attack he put a whole line of balloons in and then he was able to put the warden behind him so that then as soon as the, the balloons got through the first layer of walls and they started heading towards the core he could use the ability and he got almost all of the balloons inside the ability so you want to set up your base to where you try to split that up a little bit and to where he, they can't just put a big giant line of balloons in and and put three hay spells on the first layer of walls and then two rage spells in the next layer of walls and then another one in the core you want to you want to make it to where he has to break up some of these troops. Okay, next attack. This is Prime. He's got a Gola Loon. Uh, this is another elite attack for Town Hall Nine. Uh, the difference between the Gola Loon and the La Loon that we just saw is this one's going to have a few less air troops and it's going to have a few more ground troops to, uh, to support the king and the queen. Um, I already got the Clan Castle pulled. The Clan Castle Dragon comes out. But he drops a poison on the dragon. He's got a jump spell to try to get his heroes inside that compartment right there near where the uh, the bottom air defense is. So you can see the strategy here is to take out the bottom air defense before they start the uh, the air portion of the raid. He's already taken out the clan castle troops and taken care of them. He's got a bunch of trash buildings out of the bottom and now the bottom um, the bottom air defense. So now the the air portion of this raid is going to be a lot easier. Uh, looks like he's still got troops going in the middle. He's got the it looks like the queen is still going So she's gonna be kicking around for a little while longer and now here comes the balloons and here comes the lava hounds Sends in it looks like two lava hounds on one on the top air defense and one more on the bottom air defense Uses that heal spell don't see that a lot or you didn't for a while, but you do now and I believe that was the clone spell. There's another there's another spell you don't see very often. So he uses a heal spell and a clone spell and check out all the balloons. I mean there's tons and tons of balloons going around the back side of this base. Uh, at this point now there's no defenses left. It's just clean up. And he's got a bunch of pups up there. That's something you always have to be careful of is not to bring too many lava hounds. Um, they, they, don't ha they don't have much punch to them until they're broke up into pups. 
of course, um, they're, they're, they're tanks. They're made to sit over the air defenses while you bring dragons or balloons or other air troops in to try to take out the, uh, the air defense. But as a whole, they don't really attack well. They don't do much damage. So you, you want to try to pop them. Uh, which, which means you have to be mindful of how many uh, lava hounds you bring into an attack. That's one of the reasons why the Gola Loon is so attractive is because you don't have to bring four lava hounds in. Uh, and because I've seen it happen, if you've done enough air attacks, you've seen it happen too, where you'll bring four lava hounds into an attack. The attack actually goes better than you think, and only one lava hound pops. And then you have three lava hounds trying to take out buildings at doing seven or eight damage a second or whatever it is. And they just don't get it done. So you have to be mindful of how many how many lava hounds you bring and whether or not you can get them to pop. Okay, next attack is another DC player. This is I N no, this is NFC seven seven seven. Not sure what that means. Um, this attack here is I believe this is the Goho attack. Now in Town Hall nine, a Goho is a really strong attack. This was probably one of the strongest attacks in Clash for a while. And ironically, they, they, they buffed the, the Hog Riders and made it to where the Giant Bombs no longer do, do, do 1.5 damage on them. But they still don't, they're still underused for the most part, probably because there are other attacks that are so strong. I think as soon as a... Hold on a second here. Sorry about that. <laughs> it, I, looking back, I think as soon as the Valkyries got a buff about, I don't know, eight months ago, a year ago... You, you see a, a, a steady decline of the use of the Hog Riders and people started using the Valkyries to do the whole attack. Those mass Valkyries, they started Valkyrie, Valkyrie, Valkyrie. And uh, the Hogs kind of dwindled down. Uh, then they gave the Hogs a buff to try to get them back in the game. And they took away the 1.5 damage on the Giant Bombs. And so now they're sturdier than ever, uh, than ever, but they're still not really used a ton. But their 24 Hog Riders easily wiped out that Town Hall 9. Okay, next attack. This is by Divine Dragon. I wanted to show this attack because this is a it's a newer Town Hall Nine that he's attacking, but these are level three, <laughs> level three dragons that he's bringing in. Level three dragons are max for Town Hall Eight, so there's a lot of Town Hall Eight defenses on this base. This looks like a Town Hall Eight that just went up to Town Hall Nine, and they may be holding out on some of the of the defenses until they get their troops up. But they, you see that they do have the walls, they, they probably have the Tesla out there, they probably have some of the traps from Town Hall 9. So this is not going to be a Town Hall 8 base, this is still a Town Hall 9, it's just the very beginning of one. But he, he does a great job funneling the dragons into the, into the center of the base. Um, brings the balloons in, and the balloons, now, I, I know most people know this, but the, the way the balloons work is they go for defenses only. So they, they, they're really compatible with the dragons. The dragons will go for everything. They're really sturdy. They, they take a lot of damage. The balloons, they don't take a lot of damage, but they don't go for trash buildings. They'll go right from defense to defense. So by using the balloons with the dragons, you kind of get the best of both worlds. You have these big sturdy dragons going around on all these parts of the base, just kind of plowing through everything. They're not fast, but they're not exactly slow either. And then you have the balloons that are going to help them out by, by speeding ahead of them and taking out some of these key defenses to where they're not going to beat up the dragons too, too much. So, the, pretty good attack from D Divine Dragon. They have a lot of good attackers in the clan. Um, I when The last time I checked, they had three starred every person in the clan except for the Town Hall 11, and they had two on him. So, I mean, these guys are have a lot of perfect wars. If you look at their, um, if you look at their war log, there is two losses and one of them was a tie. So I mean they're just really strong, uh, strong attackers. And uh, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of good clans out there that are, that are primarily Town Hall Nine. And I, I have uh, something for you to look forward to. Once you get to Town Hall Ten, a lot of things change. Um, they, these. Town Hall 9 has a plethora of, of, re of really, really good attacks. And Town Hall 10, it, they just don't... There's, there's a bunch of reasons for it, I guess. One of them is like the air attack. You're using the same level balloons as you do in Town Hall 9. So it's kind of... <clears throat> the defense in Town Hall 10 are so much better. But you still have the same level 6 air, uh, uh, balloons. So it's a little disadvantage with that. And then you have having the infernal towers on the base in Town Hall 10. It's just a whole different world. 
But now in Town Hall 9, there are, you know, you're dealing with the crossbows. And you have these balloons that are just so good. So there's a lot of a lot of potential for people to three star in Town Hall 9. And this clan is taking advantage of that. There's tons of three, uh, tons of Town Hall 9 action in the clan. Uh, there's a, this attack right here is all over the place in this clan. As it should be in every clan right now because the, it's such a strong attack. So this is a straight La Luna attack. And La, La Luna means uh, you can, he's going to bring in um, Lava Hounds. The Lava Hounds will fly into the base. Sit on top of the air defenses. The air defenses will sit there and pound on the la lava hound over and over. They have such high hit points that it takes them a while to, to, to get destroyed. Once they get destroyed, they pop into, into the pups that you see on the, in the base right now. The, the orange little team. Look, looking like minions, but they're orange-ish. Um, and then you have, and then you usually do fall away with minions too. Because you want to be able to clean up some of these buildings real fast. Because there's a lot of times you're going to have a multi-phase attack when you're using balloons. And you're going to go into the base with a small group of troops to try to take out some key defenses or key uh, elements like the queen or the clan castle troop. And uh, then you'll go in with the, the air portion after. And you may not have the time you need or you want really to, to attack the base, to take everything you need, and then still be able to clean up. Uh, it's, it's, it's not an easy thing to do. Okay, so another good attack. I believe we have no more <laughs> we have no more attacks that is the end of the video that surprised me as much as anyone else so I appreciate everyone for watching I know I'm a little out of it it's 2 a.m. and uh, wanted to get the video done before bed though I've got another video I'm gonna be making first thing in the morning I've got a bunch of videos apparently uh, I make videos all the time now so I'm having fun I hope I hope you guys enjoy them as much watching them as I do making them so uh, till next time it's been easy everyone